Good day guys, my name is Blaze Spool. Welcome back to LS TV. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for tuning in guys. It's good to have you. Today's video is the gym that make you miss I don't know how to pronounce this word. Many of you will be like, that's not the way you pronounce it. But I'll try. Fajir. Fajr. 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 I think. I'll have to find out what that word means. With that being said guys, thank you for coming and thank you for watching and please by all means man, subscribe down below. More content coming, I've been away for a while but yes, Luazi Spoo is back and we're doing more videos. Thank you for watching and let's get to it guys. Love you all, I love you all. Jeans have been in every single body, right? Are you scared of jeans guys? No, you're not. You know why? because jeans come in our bodies every single day. They do. Every single day jeans come. In fact, when you wake up for Fajr, you've got a jinn that's already tied, a shaitan that's already tied three knots over your, your, your head. Just, just over that part of your head, tied three knots. Every human being, especially the ones that want to wake up for Fajr. There's a specific group of ah, shaitans Fajr. that are just after making us miss Fajr Salah. So if you missed your Fajr Salah this morning, you had a group of jinns that came to your house Prayer. and they basically did their little job. So what they do is they try three knots and when you wake up, they say, Nam Nam Alayka Laylim Taweel. Rasulullah said this to us in the Hadith in Muslim, that you sleep, sleep, you've got a long night. And Prophet said he'll carry on doing this until he's missed, made you miss your Fajr. He says, if the person gets up, فَذَكَرَ Allah. If the person remembers Allah, they say, Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahyani ba'da ma'amatin. Whatever dua, whatever dhikr they do, any form of remembrance of Allah they do, one knot is untied immediately. Next one is they basically go and perform wudu. If they perform wudu, another knot is untied immediately. And one of the key things in the wudu that we do to try and get the influence of the shaitan away is to rinse the nose properly. Now, a lot of people don't do this sunnah properly. When you rinse your nose, have you seen some people rinsing the nose with they just grab them and go. There's a bang there, you know, nose three times with water. That's not rinsing your nose. Some people just get water and just go straight on top of their nose. That's not rinsing your nose. It's in the inside. Okay, so some people what they do, their rinsing of the nose is just basically grab some water and just stick it up in there, stick it up in there, that's it, they rinse their nose. And some other people, they want to basically, you know, do the classical one, yeah? You better not watch, brothers. Yeah? And then release some explosion from their nose. Yeah? Be careful, brothers. There's other brothers doing wudu, yeah? Make sure he doesn't fall over him. You know, he's got his, his clothes over there as well. I don't like, you know, you're just trying to do wudu in the wudu area, right? You've got, you've got some, some brothers who are trying to do wudu. I think, you know, are you doing wudu or are you making me do wudu? <laughs> Because it's half over your, you know, your, 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 your jubba, whatever, your trousers, yeah. And when the guy basically does a classic one, you just basically want to make sure that he doesn't blow it all out onto your, you know, clothes or something. So anyway, the sunnah regarding this, and it's very important because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانِ يَبِيتُ فِي خَيْشُومِ Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the shaitan sits just at the end of your nostrils within just your nose, he sits there throughout the night. Because you're in forgetfulness, you're not in a state of dhikr. And to do, to get the influence of shaitan away is to take water, to snuff it up, uh, up to the bridge of the nose, and then to sniff it out, both, both sort of parts. So to take some water in is one sunnah, to take and blow the water out is the second sunnah. Both these sunnahs complete, cleansing the nose at the time of wudu or ghusl, at the time of performing ablution or having a bath. So that's the second one. The third one the hadith says is that the person prays. When you pray two rakat, the infant, the last knot that is there will actually be untied. Wow, that is uh, <laughs> quite funny about the wudu. I love you Allah. Subscribe down below guys, tell me what you think about the video. I think I should actually get myself a Quran, like, so I can understand more, you know. I know Fajr is a morning prayer that you have to do. I'll go Google it, I'll go Google it guys, before you guys correct me. Thank you for watching guys. Yeah, I will make sure that I clean my nose every morning when I wake up. I will 
but it's difficult to the water oh man no it's difficult to just take the water in it's easy to take it out you know with that being said guys i'll leave the link down below man please make sure you guys go subscribe to their channel and check them out they've got very nice content thank you for watching to ls tv guys and thank you for being here with that being said man we'll see you on the next one guys thank you for watching thank you for coming i love you guys peace